discovered the electrical properties of the brain in 1875, and around 50 years later, the German psychiatrist Hans Berger recorded the first human electroencephalogram. An electroencephalogram is a critical tool for assessing the brain's electrical activity. Despite advances in imaging technologies, EEG or electroencephalogram remains the primary paraclinical technique for seizure evaluation. Its immediate use is to evaluate seizures and illnesses that mimic seizures. It's also used, amongst other things, to classify seizure types, evaluate comatose patients in the intensive care unit, and diagnose encephalopathies. EEG electrodes are implanted on the scalp to measure the absolute electrical potentials generated by neurons in the cerebral cortex. Pyramidal cell bodies are found chiefly in cerebral cortex layers 3 and 5. After neurotransmitters are released, excitatory or inhibitory postsynaptic potentials EPSP or IPSPs are formed, resulting in an electrical field with positive and negative ends known as a dipole in the cortical region. Well-developed feedback loops link cortical neurons and subcortical regions. The EEG captures a sinusoidal rhythmic activity known as the posterior dominant rhythm or PDR during rest or relaxation, which is thought to be caused by oscillatory interaction between the cortex and subcortical regions. During activation, cortical activity desynchronizes and an aberrant brain network produces a massive supersynchronous neuronal discharge. Examining EEG signals offers critical information about the localization and propagation of these discharges. In EEGs, waveform frequencies such as alpha, which is 8 to 12 hertz, beta, which is 13 to 30 hertz, theta, which is 4 to 7 hertz, and delta, which is less than 4 hertz, are expected. The prominence of waveforms varies according to the age and state of wakefulness. After 8 years of age, the average adult resting PDR of 8.5 Hz in the posterior head areas is observed. Sleep spindles and K complexes are significant components during the first year of life. The electroencephalogram is essential for determining central nervous system disorders such as seizures, altered mental status, parasomnias, encephalopathies, dementias, and strokes. EEG can also predict outcomes in individuals with traumatic brain injuries and medication toxicities. It aids in the capture of aberrant discharges, the classification of areas involved in focal epilepsies, and the characterization of seizures. Long-term EEGs with video can help with seizure diagnosis and treatment, especially in pre-surgical work with curative purposes. For patients who require diagnostic electroencephalograms, an interdisciplinary team comprising of EEG technicians, nurses, and neurologists is essential. This group assures adequate screening, safe test performance, and accurate interpretation, allowing for more informed treatment decisions. Board-certified EEG interpreting physicians follow the International Clinical Neurophysiology Guidelines.